I'm gonna say something. When you have a hot girl with you and you introduce her to somebody and you know she's hot, it's like a yeah, she's with me. It's, it's a status. status thing. It's yeah. a status. So having hot women is a status. You ever so felt that? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm saying, he was, that, if I run through 10 chicks, I get to know I've ruined 10 wives. Guaranteed 10 divorces. Guaranteed. Because whoever she marries, she will not be happy with because she will dream of me for the rest of her fucking human existence. Guaranteed. That, that's how it gets. You get to that point at a certain status of man. How do you get to that point? You got, you got to get your shit together. How many push-ups have you done today? None. The fuck they, why many, ask me stupid questions? Did, how many how, have you done? Bro, I do push, I'm ready. I live ready. I do push-ups in my sleep. Then that it, makes somewhat sense. No, that is the country. They should make a Black Mirror episode about that. They I, should. They should try it. I disagree. If, if, of course you disagree. But tell I'll me, tell you why. Tell me why. Because it's different. Like, if you're looking for a one-night stand, and one chick has three bodies, and one chick has 50, the chick with 50 is going to give you a way freakier night than the chick with three. So I'd maybe go with the girl with 50. You're going to walk around <laughs> looking for chicks, thinking, I want one that smells like For a one-night stand, though. I want one who's been plowed. Who's gonna, want, you, who's gonna give you a freakier yeah, night? I yes, want Danny, that. I, I wouldn't want that. I don't think anyone for a one night stand. Okay, two bodies, two who, bodies. Or, yeah, who, fuck it. You can give me a virgin for a one night who stand. Who the hell goes yes, for the girl with the higher body Bro, it's count? Fresh puss. Yeah, okay, that's a, but that's a weird yeah, but then take there's a lot right more, there. There's a lot more like bullshit behind the scenes that you guys probably aren't. Has anyone ever heard that? I would never. You don't understand the logic. If a girl had a hundred bodies or two hundred. Okay, so if she has one, if she has one, and then another chick has ten. Who would you rather one. smash? One. One. All day. Okay, What's well, wrong with you? You guys bro? just don't get freaky, I guess, obviously. It's well, I mean, it's not about, I don't, I don't think Freaky, about I, I mean, if you want chicks who smell a dick, that's your thing. But that ain't my thing. And I don't think it's most men's thing. You're the, like, do you ever get afraid of getting canceled for being so, <coughs> just say, the shit you say? Did you just say, firstly, let's make a few things. Clear. No, and, and I, and I, I mean, know, I understand. But wait, 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 let me finish. I mean that in the sense where it's like, you, you seem to say crazy shit and your audience gets bigger when usually people who say some shit that you say, a lot of people would come after them. That's true. But firstly, I don't live in fear. So I'm not afraid of anything. That's but how thing. could you get canceled? Because most of your shit is not even your own accounts, right? Secondly, I'm just breaking down the sentence as a professional because that's what I do. You said fear of getting canceled. So the first word incorrect was fear. I'm not afraid of anything. I don't live in fear. Second thing is canceled. If I was going to be afraid of anything on the planet, the last thing I'd be afraid of is getting canceled. Like I've had people try to kill me. I have real enemies as we stand right now. There are groups of men waking up who want a bullet in my head. I'm, hmm. I'm not, I don't give a fuck if some dork on the internet makes a video saying cancel Tate. Don't give a solitary shit. I have real problems. So just breaking down the sentence. I'm not afraid of shit. Would never be afraid of getting canceled. To answer the meta question as to am I worried that someone's going to hear something I say and then be offended and then people aren't going to follow me anymore. Once again, I couldn't give a fuck. I'm sorry you just sit through that fucking Andrew Tate is a pig. It's a piece of shit. I don't agree with one thing he said. Don't be intimidated. This guy's not that dope. Do you guys fuck the same girls or no? Never. Yeah. Eddie, what are the two things we don't share? Women in underwear. <laughs> Women in underwear. <laughs> if I want to take a girl on a first date and I want to smash, how do I get it done? The short version is, you have to sell mystery. You can't let her understand what's happening. There has to be a mystery element. 4 a.m. we have to get up. Why? Is your date tomorrow free? Yeah, it's free. Okay, trust me. Just trust me. Do you like romantic men? Yeah, I like romantic men. All right, trust me. Should we think at 4 a.m. you're going Paris and shit. 4 a.m. she's out the house. So, yeah, sorry, my wife's coming over. Say goodbye. That's the move. There it is, baby. Yeah, what kind of vodka is that? Beluga. Kind of cheap, no? Yeah. Which vodka would you like? Great goose, bro. We're 42. We drink tequila. Because we're an amateur. So you, don't, you don't like Beluga? No, we're all about tequila. I can tell all your wives want tequila. Oh. Yeah, boys. <laughs> Take my girl, let's bring me champagne. Yeah, nice. Where the fuck's that guy's from? Has the chick ever drove your Bugatti? Fuck, what the fuck? Who, who that's, is this guy? That's Cap. No! 